Our sample company, Belt and Braces, manages their customers and prospects through Sage Sales Logics. When they change the status of a prospect to a customer in Sales Logics, they wanted a member of staff to add some additional financial information about the new customer to ensure that the record conforms to their accounting requirements and after this dynamically create their new customer's record in Sage Agpack. OK, let's get on and start our demo. Firstly, we're going to demonstrate how data will flow from Sales Logics to Sage Agpack. OK, I'm simply going to change the status of Abbott Limited from a prospect to a customer. Task Center for Sales Logics has been configured to monitor for such changes, and you can now see how this kicks off the associated business process. Whilst the task is running, let's open the Task Planner to view its design. Firstly, we can see the task is triggered by an MS SQL Server trigger step. You can see how easy it is to set up and configure the trigger requirements by simply checking the options for the operation you require and selecting the fields you want the trigger to fire upon. Next in the sequence, we can see the database query ODBC step is used to generate a record set, which we need so as to provide all the account information necessary to update Sage ACPAC. This step creates a job that requests a human interaction, whereby additional information such as the VAT and company registration number will require entering by the company's financial controller. It's extremely simple to create a human interaction. You can import your template if you have one, or you can design one in the formatting tab and then drag and drop any fields and controls from the browser. You can even preview the final design before you save it. We're now going to review how the job is notified to recipients. There are several methods in which to deliver job notifications, and in this example we have set both email and web portal options. To provide the notification through email, a format is HTML step is used to create the email's delivery content. Before we go to the final output, let's take a closer look at the send message SMTP step and see how we can dynamically set the senders and recipients addresses using the record set generated by the database query ODBC step. Or you can choose an existing contact from within your MS Exchange or MS Outlook directory. OK, let's take a look at the resulting email and required human interaction. First, we can see that the email layout is customized to use a template for the fictitious company Belt and Braces, as we prescribed earlier within the design. You can also see the email contains a hyperlink to a job that requires a level of human interaction. However, as we mentioned earlier, this isn't the only way we can view the job. You can also use the MyTar Center web based portal to see all your jobs. OK, let's go to look at the job we've just published. And here's the web form that we created earlier. It's requesting that we complete the missing information and submit the form. Once we've completed this step, the job now continues on to the next task, whereby our financial controller's input will be used to update sales logics as well as Sage Agpack. Whilst this is processing our input again, let's take a closer look at the task design. Firstly, this task starts with the workflow job submission step, which is used to process the response from the user interaction. Next, the Sales Logics Connector step is used to update the existing record within Sales Logics based upon the additional company information required, which as a reminder was the VAT number and company registration number. The Sales Logics Connector step has a straightforward interface as you can see, and configuring it is simple. Just drag and drop to map the source data into the associated Sales Logics fields. To update Sage Agpack 2, we now need to gather the completed SalesLogix account data and have used the database query ODBC tool to create this step. Creating a database query is made simple with Task Center's intuitive GUI. Just drag and drop the fields you need into the query using the graphical designer, no SQL skills required. But for you hardcore SQL programmers, if you want to write pure SQL, just go to the free type SQL mode and code away. Next, an ACPAC connector step will then use this data and create the new account in the ERP system. Let's now go to both Sage Sales Logics and Sage ACPAC to view the updated and new records. We can now see our Sales Logics record and the associated VAT and company registration number. And going to ACPAC, we can see that a new account has appeared for Abbott Limited. OK, that's all for this first example. Be sure to check out our other examples.